Yo, what's going on? My name is Kaljo Greg, and today will be another video on Knox. So, the video I did before this was a tutorial on Knox and setting up the account for questing and to donate resources. This time, however, I want to show you pretty much bring it back. Um, we're gonna talk about what program I used, how I downloaded it, and pretty much step by step. Somebody said that they had a problem with the Knox program that they were using on their computer. So the first thing I did was I went to BigKnox.com. BigKnox.com is the Knox player that I use. After we get to that site, we're going to go ahead and click download. We're going to make our own folder here. Since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to save it again. But you're going to save it into a folder that you remember. After it's downloaded, you're going to want to open up the folder. And once you open up the folder, you're going to have something that's called Knox Multi Drive. It's right here. Go ahead and double click it and open it. Now we already have all the accounts here. So in order to make a new one for yourself, you would go to Add Emulator. You can pick any one from these. The one I use though is the default one. After it's done downloading, you go ahead and change the name to whatever name you want it to be. So we'll do demo. I'm not going to open this one up because I already have it downloaded here. So for the ones that can't open it because they said that their system can't run it, go ahead and try the system setting first before you give up on it. So once you go to system settings, you're going to go to the performance settings and try low. If uh, if low doesn't work for you, then it's understandable that your computer is just not ready for it. Try and upgrade your uh, your RAM and uh, your memory and you should be good to go after that. So once you get to the performance settings, you're going to go to your startup settings. And lately I've been using the tablet, I'm sorry, uh, I used to use a tablet, but lately I've been messing around with mobile phone. Uh, it seems to be a little bit faster and I've been able to run more. Other than that, everything else stays the same uh, except for the frame settings. I usually go to 20 to 30. So once it's, once it's at 20 to 30, we're going to go ahead and save. It's saved. And now you can open it up. Since I already have one made already, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Alright, so here's the theme. The reason why I love Knox so much is because there's so many things you can do in it. So here's just you know a few themes that you have. I always just like to have the default one, so it's not a big deal. Um, after that, you also have your volumes up and down. So it doesn't really mean anything, just you have so many controls here. And then uh, here was the macro recorder that we had talked about earlier. So whenever I have my Blaze of Battle going. I will first click it to open it and just you know do two things at once. I will open up the macro recorder as it's loading. Boom, macro recorder is up and I will drag it to the side. And we are back open. So in the previous video I had showed what was it, the questing feature. Um, you can do a lot more than just the questing feature on here. So today, let's see. Looks like I need to complete a research. So I will show you a simple way of how I completed researches on here. I'm gonna go try and find the longest speed up I have. So it looks like we have, we should have one for 24 hours and 15 hours. So we have these two right here. And we have one for eight hours. So, what I'm going to do is, just for a video purpose, is I'm going to show you another record that I do. I don't click at all. I try not to click at all in this game. And uh, it's pretty evident by now that I don't. And then we're going to go one more. Alright, we have our three saved. Let's stop. We're just going to do three 
types, speed up. Alright, go here. So we're doing looping until the stop button is pressed. The reason why we're doing a looping until the stop button is pressed is because I don't know when I want it to stop. You can also loop it for a certain amount of time as well. So all this stuff I just talked about earlier, but this is just another type of way of to use, you know, the macro recorder for your convenience. This is why I use Knox. You know, I like to do stuff around my house, still enjoy the game as well. So now while this is going, I could be working on the farm right now. I can also be working on you know another account uh, setting that one up and Knox is just it's a time saver and life saver I will tell you that much so all right so I went ahead and uh, fast forward some of this process because uh, it did take about I think it was about eight to ten minutes and he has not need to be here for all that um, and right now I'm getting ready for the gym so like I said, you're accomplishing multiple things, you know, multitasking and still playing a game at the same time. This one is a uh, little bit quicker one, it's just one. I'm doing 15 hour speed ups now. Just for a little bit longer and then uh, still doing the same thing, just a uh, different variation of it. This one's the 15 hour one, like I just said. And uh, just to show that there's multiple ways of doing it. Boom! Just like that, we are done with the research. So, this one is just a very, very quick and basic um, video on how to download Knox. Why I made this video was I had a couple people asked me how to do it. So, I thought, like, you know, I thought a lot of people were already familiar with Knox, but I was mistaken. So, this is what's going to help me be able to bring more information to you. I've been getting a lot more feedback from line chat and uh, people asking me on Facebook and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to hope that we can, so I'm hoping we can try and change that conversation to more about, you know. So, I'm hoping that we can try and change the conversation from off of Facebook and uh, line chat to more onto YouTube. That way if other people are coming to the channel and are asking questions, they can see that their questions are being answered already in the chat. I will reply to all the comments and uh, any questions you guys have, please let me know. And if there's any future videos you wanna see, please let me know down in the chat, in the comment section, what videos you wanna see. That will help me bring more, you know, more content to this channel and it will help me uh, help you. Thank you.